Good morning, First Church. Happy Sunday. Please stand as you're able as we go together in worship. Amen. Come on, let's worship him. He's worthy this morning. He's worthy. He's worthy for every mistake, every crazy lie that we've taught, everything that we've done. His grace is sufficient for us. And that's worthy. That's wonderful news to praise him. Amen. Come on. serve a God who's faithful. He is not a man that he should lie. He is a man of his word. And let us, let us thank him for that this morning. Father, you're faithful. We thank you, Father, that we can hold on to your word, that your promises are yes and amen. We thank you, Father, that your faithfulness is not bound by our circumstances. Your faithfulness is not bound by who we are, Lord. Even in our flaws, Father, even in our mistakes, your grace is sufficient for us. And we hold on to that today. We thank you for all that you do. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Here we go. He's a man of his word. You can trust him, church. What he said he'll do, he'll do. 
He's a man of his word. All things are possible when we believe. Old chains are breakable when we receive your way. You keep your promises. If you said it, come on. We believe it. If you said it, if you said it, we believe it.
can anyone raise their hand and say that God's not done with them yet? Is that anyone in this room? Amen. Amen. Don't we just do, do stupid stuff, right? I did some so stupid. I just do stupid stuff all the time, but I'm so grateful that he's not done with me yet, that he's still making me in his image. The potter still has me in his hands. I'm so grateful. He's faithful, church. Let's lift our hands in the sign of just surrender. Say, Father, refine me today. Make me in your image. Remove, Father, what's not of you that's in me. Take it away, Father. Help me to be a better image of your love and your grace to your people and to your community and to your church. Be with us, Father. We need you this morning.
fire, the refiner. I wanna be consumed. You're a fire, the refiner. I wanna be consumed. You're a fire, the refiner. I wanna be consumed. I wanna be tried. seated turn to your left and to your right and please let's take this time to greet your neighbor the person on the same row as you maybe someone on the back row <clears throat> also we wanted there's a very special announcement today up in the booth we have a very special birthday mr jim mcgregor Woo! aka cray cray he's up there every sunday come heaven or high water just serving you and let's just honor him this morning we thank you for that and you may be seated I wanted to come up this morning and uh, just kind of give you an update. Uh, uh, I talked with Kristen Johansson, who has led our COVID-19 team actually last week, and we decided after hearing what the CDC has to offer and what our, our conference of the Florida Annual Conference of the Church has said is that we are now at a level where if you are fully vaccinated, you uh, masks are not required. Woo-hoo! Woo-hoo! Yes, <laughs> now... Uh, you'll see that I'm wearing a mask right now. Um, part of that is because I want to stand in solidarity because I know there are people that have not yet been vaccinated. There are some people, at least one that I know of, that's not able to be vaccinated. And I want everybody to feel comfortable. So you're comfortable with a mask, comfortable without a mask. I also wear it because I, it's Pentecost and it goes really well with my look. So that was the other reason. So so from now on, it's, uh, we're mask-free when we're fully vaccinated. Praise God. Good morning, First Church friends and family. This is your Need to Know. All right, what a pleasure it is to welcome you today. My name is Tony Sorrell. I'm the youth minister here and the director of communication. And on behalf of our entire staff, we just want to say thank you so much for joining us for worship, especially on this Pentecost Sunday. If you're here for the first time, we especially would love to get a chance to get to know you a little bit better. So please stick around after the service. Let someone know that you're here for the first time so that we have a chance to say hello. All right, now's the time. I'm going to ask you to please take out your smartphone or your tablet and scan that QR code on the seat in front of you. That will take you to our online worship tool center. It gets you your online bulletin, order of worship, ways to give online. You can also get your connection card there and fill out any prayer requests or praise reports that you may have, knowing that this church community is going to be praying for you. Also, if you're at home, you can get to that tool center by visiting firstchurchpo.org forward slash online bulletin. That's going to take you to the same place as if you were here, and you'll be able to get all the tools that you'll need for today's service as well. If you're at home-